Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called The Left Splits. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, as I've said, I'll be talking about the left wing splits. But before I do so as well, I would like to explain for anyone who's seen my video for the first time that everything happens spiritually before it does here on earth or in the physical realm. And so what I'm trying to say is nothing can happen here on earth unless it first happens spiritually. And so this is how the Lord has allowed me to hear what is to come before it does. Okay, right. On the 17th of August, 21, the Lord said that the left wing has split. He said the left wing splits. So the left wing party has split spiritually. This has taken place awaiting the manifestation. This is all that I heard. These words were all that I heard so far. I know that in the UK, the Labour Party is one of the biggest left wing parties around. But I know that there are left wing in other countries. The term is used elsewhere. So I will leave it just at that because I know the term is used elsewhere you know and so the Lord is saying the left wing they've split but the Lord is saying the left wing has split as I've said whether they the party is split you know or whether it be in disagreement that I'm not sure but the Lord is saying that they have split but we will see the manifestation unless they sort themselves out because, as I've always said, you know, prophecies can be changed. Some prophecies can be changed. They are not set in stone. They can be changed through prayer or through us even doing things differently. I know, you know, it will be something big. Because, as I've always said, when the Lord is speaking about something and drawing our attention it is always nothing to be taken lightly. And so I know that we'll all hear about it. The fact that the Lord is drawing it to my attention, is speaking to me about it. I know, you know, that we will see the manifestation of something big unless they do things differently or they begin to pray. So let us continue to pray for our governments. Let us continue to pray for them because whatever they do, it will affect us as children of God, as people of God. You know, whatever they decide, whatever they're doing, you know, and whatever law they're setting and whatever is happening, it always affects us. And so let us continue, let us continue to pray and ask God to intercede and to be in the midst of everything that they are doing and planning.
because we will be affected as children of God. Okay, these are my few words for today. It is a very short prophecy, but nevertheless, I also want to say for anyone, you know, who have not accepted Christ as their personal savior, I want to encourage you to do so today before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you today to seek the Lord today before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone, as I've said. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to seek the Lord today, to turn to him again before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? And so I want to encourage you today to seek the Lord again. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but the word of the Lord describes them as being lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of the world and the things of God. I want to encourage you today to turn to the Lord, to turn away from the things of the world and seek the Lord today before it's too late for you. Separate yourself from the things of the world. The word of the Lord said, let your light so shine that men will see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. As I've always said, the world is watching. Let us set an example for them to see. Let us be a true representative of Christ Jesus. Okay, so I encourage you today to return to the Lord before it's too late for you. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.